Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm in the cluster F of a garage right now. Check out these dope lights working on that project right now. But yeah, we're doing a gig today. As you guys saw from the title, we're going out to Raleigh. We got everything loaded in the truck. We're doing a very simple uh, setup today. No lighting, but we're bringing four lights just because you need a little bit of light. We're bringing the bun booth with the SZ. We're going to bring the new Bose Pro 16s. We got ceremony, ceremony live stream, and reception with cocktail, that, but audio only. Audio only, just microphones, speakers, good music, good vibes all around. That's what we're doing today. I did want to start in the garage though because there's a lot of projects going on in the garage and I'm filming all of them for my other channel. Eventually when this garage becomes not a cluster we will be doing a complete tour walkthrough of all the gear and everything like we do every single year. But that probably won't be coming until December once we finally get everything finished, including these cool ass hexagrid lights. Go check that out on my Taco Rick channel. It'll be linked in the description down below. And we're installing, you might see it on my Instagram at DJ Rick Web. Check me out on Instagram to get all the current updates uh, as well as the footage from this beforehand. But Mr. Cool DIY AC and heat unit going right up down the wall. Gonna plumb that up this weekend because it is so hot. Enough blabber, we're gonna get on the road. I got Gabe with me today. Um, everything's in the sick Tacoma. Check that out on the Taco Rick channel, all the mods and whatnot. But uh, yeah, let's get on the road. What's up? We made it to the venue. We're at Melrose in Raleigh. Um, it is a mask wedding today, so we got that. But if I told you, everything's in the truck. Everything. It's all right there. All loaded up. We gotta walk upstairs though. Welcome inside, guys. Welcome inside. So we got a split room. This side will be the ceremony, and then we'll make it completely the reception space afterwards. All the tables are stashed back here. We're doing the audio from behind the curtains back here, and then we'll be doing the live streaming portion, just most of the cameras out over here. Uh, when we do the flip, we're actually gonna be set up over here. So right here in the center of the room. This right here is all the gear we got for today. Like I said, very small setup today with the bun booth. And then ceremony audio, we're gonna basically keep the booth in its bag until later on. Well, actually, we can assemble the booth, I guess, beforehand. Always unload everything that you have in bags or whatnot. Up lights, if you have them in road cases or whatnot, just start taking all the up lights out of the road cases. That way you can get all the cases out of here. Especially if you're at a place like when we were in downtown Charlotte. If you don't have anywhere to put the road cases or whatnot, you gotta get them back in the trailer and move your trailer. So uh, keep that in mind when you're setting up. All right, guys, checking in. We are all set up back here. We got our bun booth set up with SZ, ready to go for when we transform. We have our ceremony set up over here. My laptop's off because my laptop charger is built into that. So I'm keeping it off to preserve battery. Right now, we are actually running the live stream right now as a test feed, um, and then we'll actually activate it here later on. We're gonna record all of the audio onto the Zoom H6. We got the Bose Pro 16s tonight, two of them. And then over here is where we got the live stream set up. So like I've explained before, we record the whole entire ceremony on a Canon G7X and we stream off of a phone. This is live right now and I'm watching it live on the laptop back there. Good to go. And then we're doing a pretty unique thing today for the ceremony. So one of the things I always do with my, with my couples, my clients is talk about microphones for the ceremony, what's gonna be done. Cause today we got readings and um, we also have Elizabeth's grandma is gonna be doing the whole entire officiating tonight. To make things a little bit easier um, in that situation, it's a little difficult to clip a lapel onto a woman, as most of you might know in this industry. So instead of doing that, she's actually reading off of the podium, so I got a pretty unique setup right here with the lapel clipped to the podium. So not only is the officiant gonna be from here, but so are the readings. So what I've done is I clipped the lapel right here, this isn't going anywhere, and then I'm gonna mount my body pack right here with some gaff tape, and that way, I can pick up all the audio, and then obviously the groom will be wearing a microphone as well. So between both of those lapels, it's nice and clean, you can't even see where it's gonna be at. We should be able to pick up all the audio for this ceremony. All good to go. I'm gonna go change now. We have been waiting for this moment quite a while. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> The newly wedded couple, Mr. and Mrs. Derek and Elizabeth Bailey. People 
Tesla coming up. All black setup today. We got the bun booth. Bose. L Bose 16 Pros. L16 Pros, I believe. Toronto. We're gonna run Show Express. We only have four both lighting lights today because we weren't required to bring them, which is the bonus.
Yo, so you guys remember like a gig log like a long time ago? Literally, it was like one of my first ever gig, it was like gig log 14 maybe. So in that gig log, the coordinator told me to like, they cut the music and do the send off and then come back, but the bride didn't want to do it. Similar situation, the, the event doesn't end until 10, right? My meeting with the bride, the bride wanted to go to 9.55. 9.55 was gonna be the last dance. Coordinator comes up the game at 9.45, furious because on her paperwork, it says last dance at 9.45. Should I have looked at that and seen if my time lined up with hers? Yeah, but I sent her my stuff. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. She says that. So all right, I'm like last dance. Bride comes up to me and says, "What? No, we can't do the last dance now. Like we're going till 10. Like I want to go till 10. I want to dance. I want to party." And I'm like, "All right, but I played the last dance song. It ended, and then they chanted for one more song." I look over, the coordinator's like scolding me. Um, I, I put on another song. I put on all I want for Christmas because the the groom said he wanted to hear it. It was like a hit. Went off as a banger. I'm looking at the choir going. What do you want me to do? They, they want to go longer. I'm getting paid by them, not you. So story time, fun time. Um, ran into a little bit of issue. I don't think the coordinator likes me, so whatever. We're gonna get solid reviews. We're gonna get all that because that was a banger. That was a rager. That was a blast. Elizabeth and Derek, if you're watching this, I had a blast. It was so much fun. Uh, I got to say bye to Derek. Elizabeth, I didn't get to say bye to you, but anyways, Gabe, what do you think? Great, great time. It was lit. Fun time. Fun, time. fun time. Fun time. Whenever we bring Gabe out, it's always a lit party. I'm the energy, baby. He's the energy. I'm the energy. I keep getting going. Anyways, um, yeah, we got an hour and a half drive home. Keep them record spinning. Like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to get the 50K subscribers, 100K subscribers, all that good stuff. Leave down the comments section down below what you guys find the gig log. And um, peace.